linear acoustic uh, wave equation or governing equation can be written as uh, like this. Okay. The solution that satisfy that wave equation has many forms. The simplest form would be plane wave. As we can write for one dimensional case like this. That is the way propagating in X direction, positive X direction. The wave front of that plane wave is a planar. Wave front is the plane that has equal pressure and velocity. Okay, that is the wave front. Or we could say the wave front has an equal phase. And please remember the definition of wave front. Or we can generalize the plane wave that is a propagating in wave vector K direction. Okay. K is a wave number that essentially expresses the num hum number of waves per unit length. That is a scalar. Okay. That is two pi over lambda or or we could say the relation between k and omega normally we refer as this dispersion relation that relates the way to oscillate in time and the way to oscillate in space. But wave number K is no longer scalar, that is a vector. And the magnitude of K is scalar, and that it determines number of waves per unit length. And direction of K, that can be expressed like this. That is the direction of wave number. Actually, in the case, the direction of wave propagation. Okay. And another possible solution would be the the the, the wave that satisfy the following differential equation. In other words, the way set a phi coordinate, and then I can write this is 1 over r j minus omega t minus r. And the k is the wave 
in our bar in radio. It's very interesting that this function, mathematical, if you look at this function mathematically, the first thing we can immediately see is that this function is singular. The meaning that this function is infinity. infinite pressure at r equal to zero. Okay, it blows up. But interestingly, it satisfies the differential equation. But strictly speaking, it does not satisfy the wave equation at r equal to zero. That we call the singular function. Okay? And we derive the velocity induced by this pressure field using Euler equation. And what we get was A over R and of a rho jealousy. Rho jealousy is the characteristic impedance of the medium. And 1 plus J over KR exponential minus J and then up to minus KR. Okay. If you compare this pressure and this velocity, compare in terms of phase. Whether or not the pressure and velocity has a phase difference. Why? Because as we saw for the infinite string case, the driving point impedance of infinite string was low zero C and pressure and velocity has the same phase. Driving point of impedance only has only real part. And we studied the physical meaning of this imp impedance. For finite string case that was J rho zero C and cotangent KL and L is the length of the string and we learn the finite system case driving point impedance does not have a real part it only has an imaginary part that means the pressure and velocity has phase difference okay and the characteristics is totally dominated by KL that measures the length scale with respect to wavelength. If wavelength is very large compared with L, then cotangent KL as well. Cotangent KL is cosine KL divided by sine KL. Therefore, KL is very to infinity, that means that driving point infinity, uh, point impedance goes to infinity. 